We just passed by some graffiti, which was uh, sort of enlightening. The graffiti here reflects a historical tradition of the muralists. The muralists used to define the revolution, the uh, antagonisms, the, the protests. It's all defined in the muralists. Mural painting is one of the oldest forms of art in Mexican history. It's an artistic and political and social expression. After the Mexican Revolution in 1917, the Mexican government wanted to form a new cultural consciousness. The Mexican government started a new program of commissions for a large number of murals. Many public buildings, museums, churches, schools were painted with murals. These murals depicted Mexican history, Mexican ideals. There were three main muralists, Diego Rivera, Jose Clemente Orozco, and David Alfaro Cigueros. They all held the view that mural painting was the only true art form and that art should be accessible to all. The purpose of art was to educate the people and portray what the people believed in, setting ideals for the people and educating the people. They called them Los Tres Grandes. They used revolutionary themes to rewrite history and comment on social and political issues. They held the view that mural painting was the only true art form. It was art for education, and art for building a more egalitarian future in Mexico. The notion was art for the people, not art for art's sake. A lot of drug activity down here at nighttime. Even in the daytime, a lot of people hanging out. They start the young kids at about 10 years old being lookouts on the corners. You can see some of them over here. But uh, then if they get to be a successful lookout for a little while, they'll make them a runner, running some drug somewhere, or delivery boys. That's how the cartels and the, the drug dealers have their ears out. They hire little kids on the street, young, young kids. That's how they start. That's how they start in the drug culture and the cartel. That's how they get into the cartels. That's one of the things they need to do is focus on the education. Improve the education system. More opportunities. The expectations have increased, but the opportunities have not. It's like the two girls at the Mexican university. One girl asks the other one, says, what kind of boy do you want? You want a boy from northern Mexico or southern Mexico? And the other one says, well, what's the difference? I don't know. He says, well, the, uh, a boy from northern Mexico, he's more worldly. He might make more money. He speaks some English, maybe take you to the US. But a boy from southern Mexico, he's more traditional family man, more uh, Mexican historical good family man, more, more Mexican national. 
So the other girl says, well, I like a southern boy, but from as far north as possible.